So I'm trying a bit of a different setup because it's easier to plug my light in this way but I don't know if this is going to work and can you hear my fish tank because it's right here and I feel like it's just too loud. Well anyway let's just let's just roll with it hey. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you the ninth update for my Pan That palette. And I think I'm doing okay, especially considering that I'm currently doing the Lips vs Eyes challenge with Brandy, Shay and Samantha. So you know the deal, I've said this in every video since I've started it, it's up in the eye so go and check it out. But that has severely impacted my use of my pan that palette so going into this month we don't have a massive amount of progress there is a bit of progress that is visible in my opinion i can tell that there's progress but we will be able to see how much progress that is once we show the uh progress montage so let's just jump straight into it progress montage So that is where we've been and this is where we are now. So as you can see, I'm pretty sure there is a bit of a change to, what is this one, cheerful down here. I think there's definitely a noticeable change to that one. But otherwise, we are pretty same for same at this point. I have re-hit pan on Universal, if you can see that there, or if my light is just a wee bit too bright. There we go. I have hit pan on Universal. I have not managed at this point, which was my goal for this month, to hit pan on Diversity. That is still, um, it was repressed. I have used it a few times. There's a slight dip in there, but we are not yet anywhere near pan. And I think smart for me to consider at this point that especially with the pan those miraculous palettes challenge that I'm doing, which is part of the lips versus eyes created by Brandy and Samantha, you know all the deal by now. Um, all of, I will have Brandy, Samantha, and Shay linked in the description box below, just in case you are interested in checking out their channels. Um, but I don't think I'm going to finish this up this year. I'm, I'm okay with that. I went into this year with a bit of an optimistic um, look on it. Like I mentioned a couple videos ago, I thought I would blow this out in the first six months and I would be able to 2.0 um, it. But unfortunately, that is definitely not what has happened. And I'm still quite a long way from even finishing up a shadow. I will say, I think that I might be able to finish up um, cheerful and possibly universal by the end of the year but otherwise I don't see myself finishing up any of these shades and I'm kind of okay with that I'm kind of not okay with that at the same time but that is kind of where we're going I don't want to rush into using up these shades and just be willy-nilly with them and wasteful just because I want to finish up this palette I think I'm getting better year by year on my Pan That palettes. I'm definitely achieving more. And this year in itself, I know has affected a lot of people in their makeup usage negatively, but I've actually increased my makeup usage and found myself my rhythm. So previously I would wear makeup hardly ever, to be honest, and I wouldn't always do it every day. And 
now I've got a rhythm where I get up, I shower, I watch YouTube and I do my makeup at the same time. It's a bit of a morning ritual, I guess. And I've actually been really enjoying it. And the mornings when I don't get to do that, I, I don't mind going to work without makeup on. That is not an issue in any way, shape or form. But I feel like I've missed that bit of a decompress in the morning. A little bit of being able to splash some colour, create some you know, cheer, I guess, um, is the way to look at it. So I've missed out on that. So then I just don't have like the bestest day. I want to have some bright, colourful eye look and, you know, super, super awesome lip to make my day a little bit better. So I have definitely increased my makeup usage. I'm using it at least five days a week. And I think that has contributed to a lot of these pans. I think both doing the get ready with me's I've been doing with Paula, the dust collectors, which I'll link Paula down below as well. And I'll put um, a link up for our last dust collecting get ready with me up in the tags. Um, but I think doing that as well as doing the lips versus eyes challenge, I think that has kind of made me reassess my usage and my projects especially I've noticed with the pan those eyeshadows this is something I will think I'll further discuss in maybe one of those videos towards the end of the year but I found like I pulled a palette out the other day that I was thinking I hadn't really used and I wanted to use that for my dust collectors and I realized I had used the palette used the palette I had hit pan in one shadow in the palette. Now, in saying that, I don't think I had touched any other shadow in that palette. I'd only focused on the one that was in my pan, those eyeshadows. So I think that's the things that I'm now taking into consideration. It's all well and good for me to be focusing on a shadow and hitting pan and upping my pan percentage in my collection, but it takes me quite a while to hit pan on a shadow and going by the shadows that are currently in my pan those eyeshadows that I've been working on for ages I would like more of a rotation I want to try new things and see new things so those are definitely things I'm taking into consideration I'm swirling around in my brain um, all for next year but what does any of that have to do with my pan that palette nothing I just thought I would give you that information but I will say I have realized that maybe instead of think focusing on um, using up shades, I think next year I will focus more in regards to my pan that palette. I will focus more on hitting pan and then then look at possibly using up some of the shades. But I'm not going to put such a heavy weight on the idea because a month ago when I realized that me finishing this palette is probably highly unlikely. I was starting to get a bit worked up about it, a bit upset about it, because I really wanted to move this out and be able to say, I've completely finished up a palette. But at the same time, you know, you spend money on these things and you don't want them to just dissipate and disappear within, you know, a couple months of using them. So I guess that's all the things that uh, I've been taking into consideration. Anyway, what am I thinking goal-wise for the next month? To be honest, I don't know how well I'm going to go. I'm I'm going to stop putting a goal on using diversity because I found over the last couple months, I've been doing a lot less eye looks with black. I, I do like black, but I think last year, focusing on my Pan That Palette being the black palette by Urban Decay, I really overdid the black and then this year I've been really wanting to steer clear of it. I've found that I'm trying to do looks that are just using lots of colours and I've actually oops been using more browns thanks to my pan those eyeshadows. So I think I'm going to not put hitting pan on diversity as a goal this month. Um, instead I'm actually going to put my goal on to these two here. So my goal is actually to use up half of the product in, um, I'm going to say in Cheerful because I do have a shade similar to Universal 
in my graveyard project pan so which ends at the end of October so I'm not going to focus on that one as of yet I am going to focus however on um, universal and my goal for that is to use up half of the product that is in there not universal it's cheerful this is cheerful this is universal this is the one I'm focusing on and I'm focusing on using half of the product in cheerful yep the yellow shade that's what I'm doing so that is my goal for the next month and really that's all we've got for today so I'm Verity that was the ninth update for my pan that palette and now to the outro mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.